Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I've seen just about everything. Now, one thing that happens a lot, we were talking about issues with the profit and loss. Um, on the previous video, uh, the previous video we talked about um, five, five different mistakes that we can find on the profit and loss. The first one was an applied cash payment. Today, we're gonna talk about another subject and that is, how can I fix a negative amount on the income or on the expense side? And what does it mean to have a negative amount on the profit and loss? I'm gonna talk about that. And first of all, let's go ahead and get to the profit and loss. Um, how do you get to the, to the reports? On the left-hand side, click on reports. And as I mentioned before, the profit and loss is the single most important financial statement uh, for your firm. Here you have everything that happened this year. That means all the income and all the expenses for the year. Uh, so very important to keep it nice, organized, and accurate because that's how you're going to understand if your business is doing good or not. If you need to make, make changes um, or if things are going really good and you just have to keep doing what you're doing. So that's why it's so important. So here we go. So we're just gonna click on profit and loss. And this time we're gonna get to this year to date and that's exactly what I want. And if I scroll down, I have a positive sales here, okay? But down below I have a negative amount for $200. How did that happen? Okay, sometimes you will have negative amount on the expense, but the overall should always be positive. Um, why do you have negative amounts? If you have a refund for a, from, a, from a vendor, uh, from a services that was provided, usually it will just offset an expense. So let's suppose you went to Best Buy and you purchased a camera and you decided that the camera is not right for you, so you went back and you, you return that item. So they're going to refund it back to you. But the thing is that when you categorize that transaction, you want to make sure you categorize exactly as you categorize the expense. So the expense of office supply. And then when you re receive that refund on your banking, you're going to also select office supply. Now, a lot of people will select a different account, right? So let's suppose office, office supply and then um, maybe you can refund to a job supply. So you're going to end up with a negative amount because you have that expense on a different account. So that's one of the reasons. Um, a client actually came up with me and I verify all that and I couldn't, I couldn't understand why there was a negative amount on the expense account because basically it's income, right? So I said, well, let's take a look at it. Then that's the best way to understand. So if you open up your profit and loss and you click on the negative amount, it will open up the transactions, right? In this case, I only have one transaction. And the first clue that this is incorrect, here it says it's an invoice. An invoice is an expense? Hmm. Why? That's a big, big question, right? And that was my big question. Why is there an invoice on my expense account? There shouldn't be an invoice in there. It should be only expense. So if you click on the amount, the $200, the negative $200, it's going to open up that invoice. Okay? And voila. I, I look at everything here. Everything seems to be okay for an invoice, but not for an expense. So how in the world, you know, it says consulting, why is this not going to the income account? Instead, it's going to the expense account. I had a clue. <laughs> so the only way that this would happen is if the product and service was set up incorrectly. And that's exactly what it was. And that's what I, I'm going to show you and how to fix it. I wanted to tell you, when you're importing from desktop, or maybe you import all your products and service from an Excel file, things can happen 
and uh, your Protestant service can get mixed up or messed up some somewhere. Is that the end of the world? No, but you do have to go through all your products and service and verify if there is an, any error. Usually, when you if you have several transactions with errors like that, you would open each of those transactions and verify if there is an invoice, verify what the product is on that invoice, and then you're gonna look exactly or straight to that to that product and service. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so on the left hand side, if you click on sales, you're gonna hover over over to products and service. Just go ahead and click on products and service. And I'm sorry for my voice. I have a little <clears throat> bad voice today sorry for that okay so um we're gonna go ahead and click on edit if i click on edit it's gonna open up my product and service and guys look at this <laughs> and when i figured that out for the client i was like oh my word there it is it is exactly what i thought um and i get so excited when i figure things like things out like that because kind of like a puzzle for me it's like a puzzle so try to figure out what's going on here everything looks right why is this here okay so most of the time it's gonna be on the products and service so take a look at your products and service sure enough here look at the income account I have an expense under the income account so this should always be an income unless unless it's a refund but a refund is also an income account. It's just going to be a negative amount uh, for the income, right? So you're going to click on the arrow here. We're going to change that because it's not supposed to be an expense. <laughs> it's supposed to be income, money in, not out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select sales here. That's an income account, right? And go ahead and save and close. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Okay, something that I needed to go over with you guys, but I'm gonna go over with the Zoom meeting one because that one I did too fast. So Zoom meeting is another one that I set up incorrectly just so that we can fix it here. So we're gonna click on edit. Okay, this one I actually set it up as I purchased this product from a vendor. So this is sales, but I had a client that actually wrote a check and he didn't select the product and service that was a billable expense but he didn't set it up right he just used the zoom or whatever product and service that he had as an expense so it also created all kinds of trouble so the way you fix it you know you can undo I, I don't purchase this for my client okay and then you can fix it on the historical side as well that one didn't show if I go back here consulting let me change it to something else let me change it to sales of product okay there you go it's not but I just wanted to show you this one thing that is very important is to click the box also update this account in historical transactions so don't go too fast like I did you gotta check this box because that's gonna save you a lot of time <laughs> so all transactions that had that product and service before will be fixed automatically if you click this box if you don't you have to go over every single transaction in order to fix that okay so i'll update this account in historical transaction we're gonna save and close okay we're gonna leave it in sales of products even though it's not correct but this is just a sample account so it doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> all right so we're gonna go back to reports and we're gonna click on profit and loss hey guys wanted to tell you something i know that when you start using QuickBooks, it, it could be intimidating, right? Because it's a new software and uh, most of you guys are here trying to run a business. You're starting a business, you, you're focused on making money, marketing your product, get, getting your product out there. 
And and once you you have to record all those sales and and deal with accounting, it really you know for most of you I'd say probably the majority of uh, entrepreneurs, accounting is not their strength, including my own husband. <laughs> he opened his business and he really didn't like to do the numbers. Lucky for him, I am an accountant. But <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so that is um, that could be very intimidating. But QuickBooks is actually a very user-friendly program and you can actually fix a lot of your mistakes. So one of those mistakes is on the products and service. So pay attention to your products and service. If, if you have to fix it, it's very easy. Like I said, go to the left-hand side under sales, then click on products and service, and click where it says add it, okay? If you need to cancel or move, we have another video in regards to products and service. You can watch that too. But just briefly, you can click on the arrow. You can make inactive if uh, the product and service is no longer available. But to make changes to that product and service, you click on Add It. Okay? And there it is. Income account. I always take a look at the income account and see where is it routed to. Basically, where is this categorizing? What is this categorizing your product and service where's where, where is it sending the money to in this case sales of product to income which is good that's exactly what I need right uh, for this situation okay so going back to the reports and the profit and loss got uh, this year to date and <laughs> my expense is gone gone that's what I wanted and now that is should have been anytime you have an invoice remember it should have been going to an income account and there it is income account so um, invoice you enter an invoice I, I'm always gonna repeat that workflow with QuickBooks because most of the errors or mistakes or whatever you want to call them happen in the workflow process. So you enter an invoice, you enter your payments, send it to undeposited funds, and then you record the deposit and match it in banking. That's the whole process, right? But anyhow, I have that product that was probably, even if you had the whole, the whole process correct, it would have been a negative amount on the expense because the product and service was set up incorrectly. So easily fixed, go to sales and then products and service, add it, and then select the correct income account that should be going to, not an expense account. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hope that this was useful to you. Now, wanted to touch bases on one more thing, okay? So um, you can also have, like I said before, you can also have a neg negative expense, which means that is a reversal, could be a refund, and that, you know, you just have to make sure you look through. And if it is a negative amount, you should verify where the original expense was, was categorized as. And then that refund will be categorized it is the same thing. This way you're just going to offset that expense and there's not going to be a negative amount. It could be a zero. There's nothing else on that specific expense, but it's not going to be negative. So, all right. So I really hope that you were able to um, fix a, a problem or find a solution with, with our uh, tutorial today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending all this time learning QuickBooks online. <laughs> um, and I understand that, like I said, you're, most of you, you're super busy running your business. So, But it is important to, understanding, to understand your accounting because once you understand what's going on with your finances, you can take this information and take your business to the next level. So that's why it's so important, profit and loss. So last week, we talked about unapplied cash payment and how to fix it. This week, 
negative amounts on the income and the expense and how to fix it. Now, guys, if you need some help to clean up your account, we do offer Zoom meetings 101 where I can go and tell you exactly what's going on because there could be several things, you know, obviously uh, in a lot of times we would have to go in and, and dig in to verify exactly what's going on. But this was just a little sample. If you need to hire us for one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings, down below there is a web website, our phone number, you can set it up uh, and we can go ahead and um, help you out with your books. You can also hire us to clean up your book and get everything organized so you can take it from there. Or you can hire us to teach you how to do all that so you can do it yourself. Whichever way, um, feel free to contact us. And also subscribe to our channel. Like I said, there is five mistakes that I'm going to cover here on the profit and, profit and loss. Besides that, we come up with different subjects in QuickBooks Online, Quick, uh, QuickBooks uh, fixes and tutorials and any, anything that will help you understand your, your QuickBooks Online and how to use it. Um, so subscribe to your channel so you can receive the newest video with all the information that we bring, research um, this information thorough to bring it up to you to make your life easier. <laughs> as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, or even a bookkeeper. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. Subscribe. Uh, click on like. If you have a question, write it down below. We're going to answer. We're going to try to answer right away. And, and uh, we love to talk to, you, our, to our viewers. So thanks again. And until next time, keep smiling. <laughs>